a very quick tour eclectic special uh, one of the things I've been asked is what dash cam I use um, and what um, web viewer uh, dash cam viewer I use um, I'm going to cut those into two videos the first thing I want to talk about is the actual dash cam that, that you see on the tour eclectic it's an Asdome GS 65H I'll try to get it into view there this particular one came from Amazon for under a hundred bucks and why did I choose it when I have wow at least 10 other dash cams uh, that I've used throughout the um, the travels that I've had um, a couple things that I really looked at number one I wanted it to have a built-in GPS and when I say built in, I mean into the camera and not the power cord. Uh, I looked at a couple that had a, a GPS, uh, but it was in the power cord, not in the camera. The um, reason I didn't want this is I moved this camera from vehicle to vehicle, and I take it out of the vehicle a lot, and I'm going to start to use it a little more. Uh, being powered just by a um, battery pack vice the 12 volt system on the vehicle so I wanted the GPS to be built into the camera a couple other things that were important I wanted a, a back camera to uh, film the inside of the vehicle and a front camera and the resolution on this is incredible I'll put a clip, uh, a quick clip of our Wyoming uh, trip in there so you can see what this does, and especially in low light. Really, really like that. A couple other uh, big selling points. Um, the mount here, if I can get it off, there it is, um, comes separate. So there's two mounts. There's one that uh, mounts permanently in the FJ. And then there's this mount, which I can move from car to car. Two separate mounts meant the world to me. Um, so, and the way the mount goes, too, by the way, I'll, I'll look at it here. Um, you put it on the windshield, and you twist this knob, and that activates the uh, suction cup. Um, the camera is held on simply by friction, by sliding the slot into the mount um awesome awesome mounts on the as dome uh two thumbs up on your um car mounts uh, along with that the input power comes from a regular um usb uh connection nothing fancy nothing proprietary uh, I got plenty of cables with the uh, micro USB um, so real easy uh, nothing again I don't like proprietary um, so that being said that was a, uh, a seller on there um, now we'll look at a couple of the downsides of it um, and there really aren't any downsides kitty cat just jumped up so if you see a tail here um, that's what that is. Let me put it down. There we go. Um, the there's a lot of outputs. We have two different types of outputs. We have HD, which is a micro HD port, and then we have a little looks like a little 3.5 connection. Um, both outputs. Uh, so for what I do, I'd rather have on one of those a microphone input uh, the microphone on here is pretty good but it picks up a lot of car noise because it's mounted up by the dash it would be really nice to have and I, they can make it wired I don't care a wired microphone input that I could move the microphone back to where I want it to record um, this would be especially helpful if somebody was using this as an uber or a lyft driver um, to instead of pick up um, audio from the camera to pick it up uh, from the middle of the vehicle so they could get 
uh, good audio from uh, the people in the back seat. I like that. Uh, but again, I'd love to have a um, external microphone input to this. That would be awesome. Controls are very easy. They're located on the back of the uh, screen here. Um, didn't take me long at all to use them, uh, to uh, learn them. And the beauty of it is they're so simple that I can remember how to do it uh, in a hurry. Uh, I can scroll through um, a lot of uh, devices and computers. They, they try to keep the buttons to a minimum. And that can kind of make it, okay, you got a long press, you got a short press, whatever it may be. This one, um, really, really good. Uh, power button is the only thing on, on this side other than your, um, I should put it into frame here, this side um, other than your uh, micro SD slot. Uh, micro SD card, the max it does is uh, 64 gig, I believe. Um, I use 32s uh, simply because I can switch them in and out in a hurry. Um, and that's how I, I uh, get the uh, data off this. I just pull the card out and put it into a card reader. I know that I could plug the whole device in and that may be easier and I may try that in the future. But for now, I just take the SD card out. Uh, a lot of times because I'll be using that SD card to download and I'll just slip another SD card in there to um, you know, keep on recording uh, while I'm driving around in the vehicle and not using it for adventures. Um, so that's just, uh, and a couple of the, um, the uh, st stats on this, uh, 1080p in this front camera, 720p in the back camera, and yes, you can tell the difference of the uh, resolution. So, as dome, what did I say? G6, uh, GS65H. Uh, my box is sitting right here, so I'm reading off of that. Um, two thumbs up to As Dome. This is by far my uh, favorite dash cam uh, that I've used since. And now I'm going to uh, put a quick video of, uh, like I said, this is uh, entitled uh, Wyoming Sunset. And it is on the Tour Eclectic. So as a Tour Eclectic special, I like this. Thank you.